Broken bones is something you can't really avoid when you're a full-time professional ninja YouTuber like me. A lot of people first break their bones when they're six or seven, doing parkour fails, and, but not me. I I played it safe. I, I hid in the shadows unnoticed. I am currently 14 years old and I remember the story as if it was a few months ago. The year was 1867 or 1981. It doesn't matter. It was a Tuesday. I went to school like every other day. I went to all my lame classes at my lame school. But something was wrong. They were less lamier than normal. I was actually having a good day. It felt good. And then the class I dreaded most. Physical education. The class that teaches you how to smell bad and hate school. But I thought, since it was already such a great day that I was having, that this wouldn't be so bad either. Be because logic. This guy would have to throw a ball at us and we got the option to kick or bat it. It was not a baseball. It was some other round, spherish object. Anyway, me having minimum lower body strength and okay upper body strength, I chose to bat. I was quite good at it too, mind you. It wasn't exactly a small target. Anyway, the other team had to either catch you out on the fall or throw the ball at you before you got to the safe mats and then to home base. There were six safe mats in total. And I survived the first three rounds because I actually tried and I got around to home base three times because otherwise I would fail PE. I didn't get out once. Even some of the actually sporty people got out, but not me. I had technique. Wait until the enemy is focused on someone else and then use them as a human shield. Genius. Anyway, I made it past five of the safe mats and I was almost at the sixth. But there was a guy of the sporty type holding the ball standing right behind the mat. I could easily make the mat in one step, but if I move, he could throw the ball before I can get both feet on the mat. So I need to time this perfectly. The thing is that I don't like sports, but once I'm into it, you can't get me out. I'm the most competitive human I know, so I wasn't losing just like that. I watched his arm waiting for it to tense up just before he threw the ball so I would know when to... <laughs> Time slows down. I'm in mid-air. The ball goes right under me, and then I remember that gravity is a thing. And BAM! I hit the ground landing on my arm. The first thing I think is, huh, I seem to be on my face. I jump up and get on the mat. The second thing I think is, ow, that hurt. But even though my arm hurt, I made it back to home base and after that I did another round and I succeeded. I went to my grandma's house because we do that once a week and I showed my mom and said, Mom, I don't know about you, but I think my wrist is a bit broken. I went to the thing, got the thing to scan the thing, put the thing on the thing and went home and had the day off school the next day. I got weird lumps on my wrist that are still there to this day. So yeah, the first time I ever broke a bone was about four to five months ago. Deal with it.